Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie. Welcome to another video on my channel. I am very excited about today's video. I have a subscriber package to share with you guys. However, it is from a different person, which it still amazes me that you guys send me packages. And when the same person sends me packages so many times, it's such a blessing and so unbelievable. And when I get somebody who hasn't sent me a package before, it's also just as much of a blessing. And I am so excited to share what I have for you today. Um, I'm going to leave the person's name out of it just for, um, you know, privacy purposes. But I got a message on my Instagram um, from a person and they mentioned that they were getting rid of some things in their collection and asked if I was interested in any of it and they sent me a few pictures and I told them that even though they did not have to feel obligated to send me anything I would happily take whatever it was they decided they wanted to send and I got the package and as you can see it's a pretty big box and I'm going to go ahead and open it and cut to the chase because even though I did see some pictures, I'm not completely 100% sure everything that's in here. So I don't know how long this will take. But this is the first view. It's very nicely packaged. And I am very, very excited about it. Um, I do have a note. And it says, Janie, thank you for receiving these dolls and accessories. Thank you for sharing your love of collecting with the world. Do with these items what you wish and continued success on living your dream to be a dancer, KC. So those are the initials. And she sent me a little pair of ballerina shoes taped to the back of the note, which is so incredibly sweet because I am a ballerina doll lover and I got ballet shoes. And it's so exciting. And there is so much in here. This is what it looks like. So it's full of very nicely bagged things, shoes, accessories, things like that. Um, and I think what I will do is I will um, show you the bags of like clothes and accessories after I show you the dolls. Um, and I'll lay them all out like I usually do on the floor so that you guys can get a good look without me trying to show you a bunch of little things um, from this camera angle. But the first thing is a doll. And I don't know which doll this is, but she is so cool. She may be, she has a made to move body and she is amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. So she has rainbow hair. She has like, um, shaved off on this side and then the rest of it is long and it's green and pink and blue and a bunch of other beautiful colors of the rainbow. She is so incredibly cool. She has really pretty earrings and this really fun rainbow outfit and she has her shoes. And like I said, she has a made to move body. She has this t-shirt that has a heart with like a rainbow lightning bolt and a rainbow cheetah print skirt and these amazing pink, like almost like boots. They're little booties with wedge heels and a peep toe. She is so incredibly cool. I have no idea who she is, but I love her. And she also came with this really cool, almost like 80s style jacket. It's kind of plasticky and a little opaque. And she also came with this really fun pair of like blue swirly sunglasses. This is off to an amazing start. I am so excited about her. I've never seen her before. So if you guys know who she is, then please let me know. Um, but the next bag appears to be Monster High accessories. I will show all of these to you um, later on, but it comes in this bag and there's a bunch of really fun things in there, including some shoes and like a piece of a doll stand. And we have some more accessories. These are like pets themed, also in a convenient little bag. There's some puppies in there and like a bucket and things like that. And we also have more accessories. This looks like the outfit from the Barbie Made to Move soccer player, which is super exciting because I have her, but I do not have her clothes. So this is amazing. There's even her shoes in there. And there's also, ooh, there's another, wait. Oh my gosh, is this, this is, I think, McGonagall from Harry Potter. Okay, hold on. This is so exciting. Okay, the first thing that's in here, I don't know, I don't think it belongs to her, but it's like a pink Barbie jacket, like a blazer, which is very cute. But she is here. She has glasses. They're brown. But this is definitely McGonagall from Harry Potter. She even has her shoes, which are really cool, and she has black pants. And I don't think this belongs to her, but it's a really cute Barbie top. Um, it's very businesswoman-esque. Um, it's pink and it's black and she has like a little necktie, but she is articulated. She has articulation at the elbow, the wrist, and the knee. 
And I think she even has part of her robe in here, which she does. She even has her robe. This is so exciting. I do have one other Harry Potter doll, um, and it is Harry himself. And he doesn't have any of his clothes or anything, so I'm super excited about this. And she even has her wand. This is so cool. I am so excited. I didn't ever think I would find any of the Harry Potter dolls, so this is super exciting. And what do we have next? We have a whole thing of shoes. We've got a big thing of assorted Barbie shoes of all different kinds. I am very excited about this because I'm running low on Barbie shoes. And we have some individual shoes that I might have some matches to. I'm not sure, but there are ones that don't have any mates, but I'm going to look and see if I have any that match. And there's even more Barbie shoes. Oh my gosh, these are like shoes and boots and sneakers. And I think all of these have matches, which is so exciting. And we also have, I'm curious as to what this is. I think this is part of the Barbie color reveal, um, like a blind bag type of thing. It's like got a little accessory in there, I think. I will open that later. And then we have a huge bag of purses. So it's all different kinds of handbags from like little purses to like big totes. It's a bunch of different purses in here. This is absolutely amazing. So exciting. And I think this is the, um, the Barbie boxer outfit. So there's shoes and like boxing gloves and clothes in here. This is amazing. I am so excited. Um, there's even more like fashion packs in here. There's the Barbie astronaut. And here's another pair of shoes. These are for Disney. So we have, I think, Aurora because she has um, like the Aurora crown on the toe. And then I think these might be Belle because they have roses on the heel. But we will take a closer look at those. And we have a couple more handbags in here. And a ski with a ski boot. And even more shoes. Oh my gosh, I have so many shoes now. This is so exciting. I am totally excited about all of these. This is amazing. And then we have even, I think these are some Barbie clothes. So we have different assorted Barbie clothes in here. And then I think the rest of it might be dolls. So opening this Walmart bag, we have, oh my gosh, it's a bunch of like Kelly's and Kelly stuff. Okay, I don't know if I can show you without dumping them out, but like it's full of like little Kelly's and stuff like that. Okay. So going through, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh, I am ecstatic. So we have this little Kelly right here. I don't know who she is. Well, I suppose this would be the Chelsea era. So now it's probably Chelsea, but this is what she looks like. Um, I don't know which one this is. So if you know, please let me know in the comments and she's in great shape. Um, and then this is not a Kelly. She's from one of the, like not the Barbie type brands, but a different kind. She's very cute and also in good condition. I'm gonna go through these kind of fast because there are a lot in here. Um, we have another Chelsea. She has articulated knees and she's one of the much newer ones. She has the molded top and her hair is in almost perfect condition. Her hair is very, very nice. Um, she's really nice and clean and very cute and I do not have any of these yet. And then here is another one of that same kind of style. She also has a molded top with a little sheep on it and she has blonde hair and it's very nice and soft. It's a little misshapen, but it's in great shape still. And what else do we have in here? Oh my goodness, we have a little Chelsea, or this would be Kelly, I think. And she is an AA, so she's African-American and she is so cute. Her hair is really nice and soft as well. And she has this little pearl necklace on. And we have another one. She is really, really pretty. Her hair is also short and she has red lips and green eyes. Very, very cute. Love her. She's probably my favorite Kelly that I've gotten so far from this bag. Ah, here's another one. She's really pretty too. She also has kind of short hair um, and she is also wearing pearls. Her hair is kind of all over the place, but that is totally okay. She is very, very cute, very light makeup. And then, oh, we have another one. She is a brunette and she has adorable green eyes and freckles. She is very, very cute as well. She has reddish brown hair that is very nice and soft. Super excited. And then we have another one who has really fluffy Kanekwon hair. She is a Hispanic one. I'm going through these kind of fast, like I said, because there's just a lot in here. Um, but she seems to be more of the like the Hispanic one and she has Kanekwon hair that's super fluffy and she's got adorable big brown eyes, super cute. 
And then we have, I think this is the lion from the Wizard of Oz. So he has hair that's really short on purpose and these adorable little ears. And then I think he even has his outfit, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this could go to him. But he's super, super cute and I'm very excited to have him. And we have another one who is very beautiful. I have not seen one like her before. She has really light red hair. Um, that's really long and she has these light bluish grayish eyes. She's super pretty and I've never seen her before. And so far I don't have any of these so this is very very exciting for me. And then we have this one and she is very beautiful as well. She kind of reminds me of this girl because they both have the same hairstyle and they both have red lips. But she's very pretty as well. She has short hair as well. I think her hair might have been cut though because there's like a little tail back here but that is totally okay she's still beautiful and then I think this might be the last doll um, but we have another one and her legs I think she's supposed to walk so if I push this leg back this one goes forward um, and vice versa so she has some sort of gimmick with her legs but she's very cute she has really pale blonde hair that's nice and soft and it's in really good shape and she has really blue eyes and pink lips and so I have a whole bunch of Kellys now to add to my collection. And the rest of the stuff in the bag is a bunch of clothes and accessories and things, which I will show you guys in a little bit. Um, we have all of this to get through as well. And then we have some dolls in here, and they look to be from the 80s or 90s. We have this one, and I'm very excited. I don't know who this is, and I definitely don't have her, so this is very exciting for me. I don't know who she is. She looks to be maybe like some sort of flight attendant or stewardess. I'm going to remove her hat just a little bit so I can peel her hair off her face. But she's very, very nice. She has an outfit on. She has kind of a, I don't know how to describe it. She has some sort of, she might be army or navy or something. She has some sort of logo on her sleeve and metal on her shoulder. And she's in white. And she has short hair and she's very, very pretty. I don't have her and I'm very excited and next who do we have oh my goodness this one is so much fun I don't know if I have this one or not I think if I do she definitely isn't in this good of condition she has gorgeous curly curly hair um, and blue eyes with blue eyeshadow and she has this really fun gold outfit on um, I think this might be her original outfit, but I'm not sure. And she has a little pink swirly in her hair. She is so much fun. If you guys know who this is, please let me know in the comments. Um, and next we have this Barbie right here. She is very pretty. She seems to be some sort of Easter Barbie because all of her outfit is Easter themed. And she is very, very, very beautiful. She has a pink ribbon in her hair and pink little Easter themed Easter egg earrings and an Easter egg dress that is very, very bright in 80s. So much fun. She is so pretty and she's got gorgeous like pastel colored eyeshadow. Um, it's like a pastel pink and then she has like blue and green two-tone eyes and she is in pretty great condition as well. And the next one is another Barbie who I think I may have, but I think this one is in better condition so I will still be keeping her. She's gorgeous. Um, this one is one of the tropical Barbies. So she has like the jewel necklace and she comes in like a swimsuit and she's got very beautiful Kaneko on hair that's crimped and she has shimmery eyeshadow and big blue eyes. And then she's also wearing this outfit which does not belong to her, but it looks great on her. Um, it's this really pretty blue and silver kind of outfit. And we've got three more dolls to go, and I'm very excited. This is one of the dolls of the world Barbies. This is a Native American. I do have her already, but she does not have any of her stuff, and this one is in much better condition. She is so pretty. I am very excited about her. She even has her braids, and she has her dress. Well, she has her top and her skirt, and the feathers are even still intact. She is so, so pretty. I am so excited about her. Um, her earrings are amazing. They're these really pretty um, floral plastic blue earrings. And she is so, so cool. I'm so excited. And these are all going to go into my 90s Barbie collection. And here we have another one. And this is not her dress. It, this dress belongs to Belle. However, this dress works so well for her. 
Um, I do have this one as well, but I will definitely be keeping her anyway. Um, but she has this gold headscarf on and really, really long hair. I don't remember which Barbie this is, like the name off the top of my head, but I do know that I have her. She is so pretty. She's got big gold earrings and this is what her eyes look like. And she's wearing this long gold dress, which even though it doesn't belong to her, it fits her perfectly. And I'm definitely going to be keeping her in it. Um, and I really like her a lot. Her hair is a little bit tangled, but that is totally okay. I am more than excited. And then we have a Hannah Montana doll. Now, I don't collect these, but they do have really nice clothes. So I might keep her for her clothes because I really enjoy her outfit. It is this amazing leather jacket with this top and this ruffled skirt with gold trim and these gold sparkly leggings with lace trim. And she's in pretty great condition and she even has her earrings. So she is in really nice shape and she's got a really great outfit on and she even has two bracelets and a microphone attached to her. So she has so much stuff and she is very, very cool. But I am so excited. I got so many dolls. Now I get to move on to all of the amazing clothes and accessories, which I am very, very excited about. So I'm going to go ahead and show all of those to you guys. Um, and then we'll wrap up. But this has been an amazing haul so far and I cannot wait to go through all the clothes. So I will see you in a minute. So here are all of the high heeled shoes that I got. And there are so many beautiful ones there are some that are all different from each other and then some that are the same like we have a few of the same ones down here oops messed that one up there we go and a few of the same ones here and there and there um and then we have some of the same ones up here and down here but there are so many really beautiful ones like i love these two right here specifically and i really love the silver pair here and this fun style and i love these but there are just so many nice ones and there are a few down here at the bottom that don't have mates but that is totally okay but there are so many shoes and i am so excited because i was actually running out of shoes and here are the rest of the shoes these are like the boots and the high heeled boots and the regular sneakers and the flat shoes there are so many cool ones in here i love barbie sneakers so to get all of these pairs are really really nice and i love this pair of silver boots they are so incredibly cute and we also have the ski and the boot and then a little clear ballet shoe and another one of these types of shoes here that are missing but that is okay i'm so excited about all these shoes here are all of the purses that i got and i love them they're so pretty i especially really like that one right there um, and i like this one a lot too um, and also this one i really like them all um but i think this one's really cool because it has this like wicker kind of pattern. I know I'm not in focus, I'm sorry, but it's almost like a basket type material and I really love the detail on that. Um, and I think this one's really pretty too because it's made out of like fake leather material. But there are a lot of really cute purses here and I'm so excited to pair them up with some really cute outfits. So these are all of the clothes that came inside of the bag with all of the Kellys and Chelsea's in it. There are a bunch of different kinds of things in here. There are some clothes that belong to Barbie here. There's even a Monster High dress. There are some things that don't belong to Barbie or Kelly. Um, they're a little big, but they're a little small for Barbie. And then I think this, 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 and this go to like maybe like a Girl Scout type thing because this definitely looks like Girl Scout to me. Um, and then there's a bunch of Kelly Chelsea stuff. So there's dresses, all of these are dresses, and then there are shirts and bottoms. I think these might belong to Stacy. These shirts um, probably belong to Stacy, but these probably belong to either Kelly or Stacy. And there's just a bunch of clothes, and that's so exciting. And there are more things that came from that bag, which I'll show you next. This is the rest of the stuff that was in the bag. Um, you can see that my ceiling fan is going through the um, reflection in this little, I think it's like a cake stand. But there was a bunch of stuff in there. There were purses and brushes and party hats and little cameras and water canteens, cake, a notebook, a mirror, a lantern, a pitcher, another, I think, water canteen, a pot lid, and then there's even shoes, more shoes. So there's Barbie shoes, and then there was also two pairs of Kelly shoes, and then one Kelly shoe without a mate. 
and all of this was from the bag with the Kelly dolls and there's still even more stuff to go through. I am so excited. I have so many more accessories for my Barbies now. So here are the Barbie I Can Be career packs that she gave me and also the Monster High stuff. So we have all of the stuff from the astronaut, from the soccer player, and the boxer. And the boxer also includes an extra pair of boxing gloves and an extra pair of boots. So that's really cool. And here's the Monster High stuff. We have a stand part, a mask, two pairs of shoes, a brush, a purse. And I think these are rings and earrings. These are little miscellaneous pieces. And then we have some pants that I think might belong to Bratz. And then a skirt, a Monster High skirt. Not sure what top this is. I think it might also be Bratz. And then a little Sophia the First skirt. So there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. And then I just have one more thing to show you guys. Here is the last bit of amazing stuff that I got. Now these are the dog accessories. So we have like a food bowl and like a feed bucket and two puppies that are so cute. And then the color reveal blind bag with these really cool earrings. But we have these four dresses and they do not belong to Barbie. They're really tall and really thin. And I don't know what they go to, but they're very, very nice. So if you guys know whose dresses these are, please let me know in the comments because I really like them. But that concludes the video. I got so many exciting things and I would want to say a huge thank you to the wonderful viewer and subscriber who sent me these things. I cannot thank you enough and I am so touched and blessed that you would send me all of this amazing stuff. And I hope the rest of you enjoyed the video. If you're able to identify any of the dolls or things that you saw, please let me know in the comments. It really does help me out. And if you liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you next time. Bye!